First off, I know it's not 2014 anymore, but I just really like the way that Christmas lights look hung up. I know that's like an old trend, but I think it's still cute regardless of the time. Anyways, but hi guys, I'm so excited for this video because it's gonna be a thrift haul. I don't know if I've done a thrift haul on my channel before. I go thrifting quite a lot. Well, I know like the first half of the year I wasn't able to go because of everything going on, but I have acquired quite a few pieces over the past few months of stuff opening back up. I've tried to go like during the week uh, where stuff isn't as packed and I tried to like stay away from people so that's why this is like a thrifting vlog because it's just kind of like a compilation of stuff that i picked up over the past few months so yeah i know hauls are not for everybody i love doing hauls i like watching hauls so if you like to watch people try on clothes then hopefully this is a video for you i know thrifting vlogs and hauls are actually a huge trend right now i don't want anybody to think that i'm just like jumping on a trend going to the thrift store i have gone to thrift stores my whole life i'm a twin if anybody didn't know that i'm a twin and so like we were raised in like a very um low income family disability so a lot of times we had to go to the thrift store to get clothes just wanted to say that i'm not trying to like be one of those people who only go to the thrift store for the aesthetic like i actually love getting good deals um and half my closet is from the thrift store so get that out of the way i'm very excited to show you what i got and how i would style it and make it cute and trendy uh so yeah let's get into it okay so i actually got quite a few things i don't even really know where to start maybe i'll just start like the boring stuff i also washed all this stuff last night and none of it seemed to shrink okay so i got this shirt purely for the fact that it has butterflies on it it's this really pretty uh black shirt and it's kind of a little bit shorter like it's a little short i know i know this had to belong to somebody's grandma butterflies and dragonflies like embroidered onto it I would probably just style this with like a pair of high-waisted mom shorts, like in the winter time, a pair of high-waisted jeans. I have gotten to the fact where I hate wearing skinny jeans, so uh, the bigger the jeans, the better. If you know me, I don't wear a lot of black stuff, but I just had to get this because it had butterflies on it. <laughs> Next up is another like black piece kind of, but it has flowers on it, and it's like a cardigan. If you can tell, it has little buttons in the middle, and this is short too. It's like a lot shorter than the other shirt. I would definitely wear this little cardigan buttoned up just like this, or I would open it and wear it with like a white tank top with jeans or shorts. I think that would be super, super cute. I'm not the best at being like stylish, but I'm trying, okay? I keep trying to like find stuff on Pinterest and get inspiration from other people out there. Okay, so these next two items are honestly kind of identical. Like I said earlier, these are definitely somebody's grandma's. <laughs> this one is Phoenix. It's from Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy. And it's just a really pretty sky blue shirt. And it feels really comfortable. Something I love about their store clothes is they're already worn in for you. So they don't have like that itchy new feeling. They're already worn in and they feel great. Here is this shirt. This is also more of like a deeper neck V. And it's a lime green. I don't own many things like this. Definitely would wear this with jeans. Or maybe I could find like a skirt or something that would go with it. I don't know. Okay, so this next item is honestly like a gym. It's a two-piece set. It's a shirt and a cardigan. But I did get this mainly for the cardigan because look how pretty that is. It's so good quality. It reminds me of something I would see on like the Instagram Explore page of like um, outfit inspiration. And it would be on like a brand year for 21 or some like cute skinny girl wearing it. So I thought I would make my own version of, uh, you know, a mid-sized girl wearing it. And I would definitely wear this with a white tank top with some jeans. I don't know if I would ever wear this on its own just because like having a cardigan is more of a statement piece with, you know, like a tank top under it than just wearing a leopard t-shirt. So that's all the shirts. Moving on, I did get one dress. And at first glance, it is just like a normal, like cute little skater dress. Um, it has flowers on it. It's like ruffled at the bottom a little bit. But when I saw this, the first thing that popped into my mind is I wanted to wear this with definitely like a white long sleeve shirt underneath it when it gets a little bit um, colder outside. Moving on. So I did get two like oversized things. I don't want to say flannels because this is in flannel. I did get this really pretty like green plaid flannel and I'll, you know, just the basic white tank, white tank top, white crop top with shorts outfit with this oversized over it. This is really good quality and uh, I like it. And it's not too oversized, like I usually get things like that, but I had to get it just because I love the color. I just know that this belonged to some dad and it was this work shirt. It's like a denim, like a really oversized shirt. It has an Auburn logo on it, so I'm probably gonna like stitch, rip, rip stitch that out. I don't want that on there. Definitely like going into the fall, I think this will be perfect. And with this flannel, these would be great in the fall. Um, we're already in August, that is crazy to me. So in the next month or two, I'm gonna be able to wear these. And by the way that our winters have been the last few years, I'm not able to wear this all winter because um, last winter, it only had, we only had like a handful of days that it got below like 40. So now let's move on to the bottoms. And I actually think that I hit it out of the freaking park with these. First pair is like this 
they're not plaid, they're not houndstooth, they're kind of in the middle. At first glance, you'd be like, oh, those are like granny, <laughs> those are like granny pants or like lawyer pants. But I think they're really freaking cute if you wear it with like some Air Force Ones, some black Converse, and a short white crop top. My style is evolving because last year I would have never wore something like this. Here's another pair of crazy pants that I'm not sure if I'm absolutely in love with yet just because they're kind of flare leg, like they're not straight leg like I usually like my pants, but I wanted to give them a try. They don't fit. Ugh. I try not to show my underwear, but they don't fit. They could have been so cute, but they don't fit me. Heartburn broke so many times. Ah. <laughs> Last but not least for the pants. So we all know that when we go to the thrift store, we want to find a good pair of Levi's. I think they're called like the 550s. It's like a really popular style of Levi pants. And I saw these and I was like, wow, are those Levi's? Because they look just like Levi's. Like they're the white, the white, they're the white wash. They have their straight leg pants. But then I turned around and they're like Liz Claiborne. I don't really know. But these are like a really good dupe for them. And so I wanted to get them. I am in love with these jeans. I have never found any pair of jeans that fit more perfectly than these $5 pair of thrift store jeans. Just wanted to come on here and say that I freaking love them and go to your thrift store and find you a pair of jeans because catch me in these every freaking day from here on out. <laughs> okay, back to the regular pro programming. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so I actually got some like little house decor things, but I forgot them. I'll go get them. Hold on. So this was literally $3 and it's this really pretty like jewelry holder. And lately, I've like been obsessed with a lot of things lately apparently, but I have been, I found a love for like angel decor and cherubs and really pretty stuff like that. So here's like a cute cherub like jewelry holder. That's what I'm going to use it for at least. And it comes apart as taped. That reminds me of something that my grandma would have had and I just love it. Next, uh, they were selling these bags for like $1.99 of cute decor things and I got this bag. It came with a little wedding cake. I don't even know what that is. A camel? Wait, that's like a Fortnite llama. And then a cute chair playing a harp. But me being dumb, I didn't have a good hold of it when I got out of the car. It was in a, in a bag. And I dropped it. And I broke its little foot. So I'm going to have to like glue that back on. Super glue, hot glue, whatever. Uh, but I, I think that's really cute. And I love decor like this. Surprise, surprise. Another cherub. Cherub, cherub, cherub. I gotta clean it because it's a little dusty in there. But it's uh, holding on to like this well or like a collar and like some roses. Is that gonna focus? Yeah. This is really pretty. Like, this is probably my favorite thing that I've gotten in a while. Um, and then it's just like a little candle holder. I guess it's a candle holder. I might use it for candles. I might use it for like a plant or the flower or something. But yeah. I literally love this and I can't wait to find a place for it in my house. Last thing, so one of the thrift stores I went to last week had uh, their books for like 99 cents. It's kind of ripped right there, but what you gonna do? And uh, this one's called The Nature Company's Guide Sky Watching. So I'm not sure if you need to have like a telescope or something for this, but as soon as I flipped through the pages, I was like, yep, I need this because I'm obsessed with astrology, obsessed with stars, and it just tells you everything about stars and and how to use your telescope and stuff. So maybe I'll get a telescope and look at stars. This gives you all kinds of facts. There's a thing about Isaac Newton. It tells you how to look for stars, like what star is what, like what it means. Oh, here's a little section about the moon and Galileo. Um, but yes, yeah, so that just goes to show that their stores are amazing. They're sustainable. They have all kinds of cute little knickknacks, hidden gems, and finds that you wouldn't find at like a a chain store but yes i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you were able to live vicariously through me um and able to feel the excitement of having this thrifting haul um maybe you can use this as inspiration of your own to go to your local thrift store safely of course wear your mask my state has a mandate like you have to wear your mask everywhere you go which is great my state's been kind of dumb dumb when it comes to this whole thing but before i go i want to say something really fast you can click off if you want to but i need to say two things one thing thank you guys so so freaking much for a thousand subscribers it's a very very big milestone for me to have reached and just be climbing and gaining all these not I don't even want to call y'all subscribers like gaining friends gaining people that watch me and support me and like make my day when I read your comments when you message me it just means the world to me and 
I freaking love you guys. Thank you. I can never say that enough. And I'm just stoked that my content, me making videos, is giving someone else out there, um, whether it's entertainment or inspiration or just a good laugh sometimes. I'm not, I'm not that funny, but like sometimes I crack a joke every now and then. If I make one person smile out there, all this is worth it. I just want to say thank you for a thousand subs. And the second thing, I have pledged to do like a schedule of uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Last week I was really good about it. The week before, like I had been like trying to get videos out like good and this video is going to go up on monday but i have some i've had some like last minute family things come up that i have to leave my house and go to my hometown actually for a few days so i will miss wednesday's video so i'm so sorry about that but i will try to vlog there i do have some things going on but i'll try to vlog there and like show you my childhood best friends uh if they want to be on camera if they don't then that's fine but yeah that will probably be a vlog that comes out on friday so just wanted to tell you all that you'll miss me on wednesday but i'll be back friday so with all that being said thank you so much for watching this video you right now for watching this mean the absolute world to me comment on here message me on instagram if you ever need to talk about literally anything i'm always here for you i'm gonna quit talking quit rambling and let you get on with your day but wherever you are out there i hope you're staying safe be careful and have a great day night morning whatever thank you for watching and until next time i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys